Hello everyone, this is Stacked Potate, commonly known as Halvor, and we're back in Minecraft. Um, we're in the uh, snapshot, the newest one, uh, 13W01A, and I wanted to uh, take a little uh, retour of this area, because I've made a few new things, and also I've improved a few of these old things. Uh, basically, the AND gate, uh, nothing new here. I've made a sort of and gate over here. Let's just get a uh, lamp so we can check everything. Uh, the only thing that's different with this one is it's smaller first of all. Not much, a little bit. And it's lockable. Now I don't know whether that would be a good thing or a bad thing. I guess it would be good for some things. Uh, but not all things, so uh, yeah. Uh, this is basically just the same with an inverter over here. Uh, so this is the uh, NAND, NAND gate, I believe. Yeah, and uh, I also got corrected uh, yesterday. Um, this is the XOR gate, not the NOR gate. Kind of tired yesterday, and uh, yeah, something must have gone wrong. Uh, I've tested around a little bit, and you can actually punch out this one, and this one, and this one and basically, just grab a lever here, uh, place the inputs over at these points so now it's on, it's off, it's on, and it's off uh, if you would want to make the uh, XOR gate to a XNOR gate you would just have to place a torch just right there and it would be fixed so now the input should be on as f that's not a good idea let's see if we can actually grab a redstone piece over here I'm already filling up my inventory let's see, there we go so now as the state of um, off at both of them it will light up which is good it will turn off when one is active when both are active it will turn on again which means it works. So this is the X NOR gate. Um, and as I said yesterday, uh, let let's go over this a little more, a little bit more in detail this time. Uh, basically, this signal when this is on, this is the um, strength of 15, and this is the strength of 14, I believe, uh, or this might yeah that's correct this is 15 this is 14 and when I turn this off well on uh, this will turn off the uh, signal through here as this signal from the repeater is at 15 uh, which is how uh, the comparator works so this will not go through but as you see here it is still powered uh, but that's because of this uh, wire. A redstone can actually go up um, these half slabs, uh, which is cool, I guess. Let's see if I can actually make it uh, the correct way. Let's see. That is how you do it. Yeah, there we go. So, if I do something like this, okay, let's just go with this. And I place a redstone torch here. You can see that the redstone signal goes upwards. But the cool thing about this is that you can actually make redstone go upwards, but not downwards again, because it doesn't go downwards this way. So that's just to put in a control so uh, it won't create a loop, because if I were to place this here instead and activate, uh, yeah, you see there suddenly becomes like a blink thing and that's not what we want we want a x or gate or an x nor gate in this case so yeah that's the functionality of this point and we also need to make the signal into this comparator uh, from the input a stronger than the input from the input B lever here 
left so it will check uh, basically now it does power this to the comparator here which will turn this on at the um, power of let's see 15 14 and the comparator actually works like this so it will be 14 here as well I'm quite sure that's how it works at least um, at this point and also this will be 14 into this one in, into this side so it won't get yet deactivated by this signal here uh, by itself basically so this is why the XNOR gate and um, XOR gate works with the comparator let's just jump on to the next point uh, the monostable nothing uh, more on that it's uh, as far as I know one of the smallest monostables that have been made uh, within Minecraft um, and then we get to the point where we have the uh, signal leng uh, length control I managed to uh, spell it right this time uh, I've made a few changes uh, not to the uh, particular model just here and uh, not to this one either but I've made a new design without torches so this is the version 2 uh, it's kind of weird because I I'm not quite sure about the actual uh, ticks well, I'm quite sure it works as long as the ticks are not like this so basically this will check if the signal is longer than four ticks and it was as it is constant at this point and that's why it passes the signal through so basically this works uh, quite simply uh, you have a repeater here at four ticks which will disable the um, output from the uh, comparator uh, so it will turn off the uh, lock so first the signal will go to this one of course at this uh, this um, comparator is like it's instant instant so it will turn this into a locked position uh, at the off state as this uses one uh, tick to update uh, whilst this uses zero ticks. So this will turn uh, into a locked position at the off state and after four ticks from this uh, the comparator, com <coughs> comparator will turn this back on again into a not locked posi uh, position. So that will pass through uh, onto that one. Uh, the way I could test this was with the uh, monostable, just connected it up to this, and I found a weird little thing here. I'm not quite sure why it's like this, but it doesn't work with the uh, the uh, signal to be one tick. I guess that's because this needs to update from a locked position to a um, to an open position and so on. So if I activate this now it will actually send a short signal through um, but if I change the uh, this won't do anything obviously as this is still um, as this is still at one tick of delay uh, now it should work and it does uh, this won't pass through any signal as they are both on the same amount of ticks if I were to change this nothing would happen either uh, and yeah, uh, the one tick delay thing is kind of weird. It works like that when both are uh, at one tick, uh, when one of them are at one tick, or if yeah, if uh, that's basically it. Uh, but as soon as uh, you put these over two ticks, both of them, it should work all the time as you see here so yeah there we go uh, it will give us a uh, signal as this uh, signal uh, is sent out for lo longer than two ticks so this will get turned on and also I've recreated this uh, thing over here with the new um, with the new signal control 
signal strength control, that's what I called it. Uh, so let's grab these buttons. So, as I didn't mention yesterday, I don't think I mentioned it, uh, the stone button will actually give off a signal of 10 ticks, uh, which equals to like one second. And that won't power this, as this is uh, up at 12 ticks. Uh, with the new design here. And if I place the wooden button, which equals 15 ticks, one and a half second, it will give an output lasting like 3 ticks. Yeah, 15 minus 12, 3 ticks. It should last. Uh, so that's the new design for the signal length control. And then we come over to the T flop, fl flip flop. T flip flop, that's how you pronounce it. Uh, well, uh, well, yeah. Uh, this is also kind of weird, um, the working of this, as, uh, as, as with this one over here, uh, the one tick thing is kind of weird with this one as well. So basically, uh, you need to give it the exact right, let's see, if I can do it, there we go, uh, the exact uh, amount of ticks. The way you would do this is by putting um, one of these mono stables here. So this one is set up with two ticks here, as you can see, and this one uh, uh, is set up with um, one tick. So basically, if you would want to make it uh, last for longer, uh, well, make. I don't know why you would want to do that, but if you would want to work with not one tick and two tick delays and stuff uh, it, you can just do this, so basically this one has to be one tick more than these two um, and that will toggle between the on state uh, for the uh, for the uh, repeater there, well the locked state and the open state I guess you can call it so let's try with a button here. It should toggle between the two states. And it does. So yeah, let me just plunk a light down there so you can see it a bit better. Yeah, there we go. So that works. Um, let's put down that again. Then we get over to the uh, most unnecessary work I've done. <laughs> the RS knowledge. And as you can see, it's quite big. It's not really efficient compared to this one, the simplest one, based on the torches. Uh, but this one, I think it's quite, uh, quite cool, uh, as it's not using any torches whatsoever. The only function it uses is the um, locked uh, repeater thing and uh, the comparators. So basically, to explain this, I think I would need to explain this first. This is a uh, latch relay. Uh, it's basically uh, kind of like an RS knowledge, but you don't have two inputs for it. Well, you sort of have two inputs for it, but the it's only one of them that are um, constant. So this will turn off the uh, of the uh, actual output of it. So you have the output right here going into that one, and this will switch it off. So basically just a constant. It will make the signal constant, basically. Uh, you see here how it works, pretty simple. Uh, the signal goes through here uh, when it's... let's turn it off first. So the signal, when you press this button over here, will go through this repeater, turn on the output, which will afterwards go through this repeater and make sure uh, the comparator, uh, comparator uh, it needs to be there to turn it off afterwards uh, the comparator is turned on when this output is turned on well, that input is turned on I mean um, and when it goes through like that it goes into the repeater and locks it in the on state and Basically, what this does, it 
overloads the signal from this one as this is at 14 in strength now whilst this would be in 15 if I press it. So this one will uh, overrun the uh, comparator's uh, signal and turn this back into a not locked state. So that's the latch relay and basically the uh, RS null latch I've made with this is kinda advanced I guess. We could break it into pieces. Let's do that by press uh, by pressing I say by uh, doing this. Let's see. So I'll just build it first and then I'll explain every part of the actual thing. So it's like that. Um, only built it one time so I'm kinda new to the design I guess. Um, even though I made it. <laughs> but you know need to build it a few times to actually get into the uh, how it's supposed to be built. Uh, so I guess that's the that's like if you imagine the uh, normal RS null latch with these two, uh, you could basically say that this part is uh, the part we got here. Uh, so this is like the half of the uh, RS null latch. Uh, yeah, it's a bug with the redstone torches. Um, I guess that's gonna be fixed very soon. Uh, but then we build the exact same thing. Um, uh, let's just show off what this this does actually first. So if I press the button now, uh, as with the uh, latch relay over here, it will turn this uh, on, which will go in through here. It's exactly the same basically. And then you have the reset thing, which is over here. You can see the you can sort of see uh, like the arrow here by the uh, with the uh, re um, the repeaters and the uh, compar uh, comparator block here. So, yeah, this is basically the reset thing for this uh, redstone lock, I guess you could call it. And then if you build the same thing, just the opposite way, um, let's do that, and I'll explain further on. Is that, that's not correct, is it? No, it's not. That's correct, yeah. Uh, so basically, just plonk these down and plonk this. Oh, derp. Uh, place that, 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 there, there, and this should. Uh, yeah, that should be there. So basically, uh, let's just build everything first. Should not start explaining before I've built everything. Uh, so now we have the two inputs and. Yeah, I think we've actually built it now. Yep. So the output would uh, be these two. Uh, basically, the thing you see here, and the thing you see here. So those are the outputs. I guess this is sort of uh, useful, as in you don't see need to use any torches, which might be good for some contraptions, I guess. And it's also good uh, because you ha can customize it more by adding like delay, uh, delay and stuff, uh, and stuff into the actual um, or a snow latch. So let's test this. If you press this now, it should switch the state. That's because this goes into here, which will power the block, which, as we all know, um, goes through the block and into this one, which powered. Um, the um, it's pa uh, powering the uh, redstone uh, repeater here, uh, which in its turn will uh, make this uh, comparator go off. As this signal, if this were, uh, let's go over here actually to explain this. Uh, you see this one. This is at 15 in power, as it's just been repeated, and then this is uh, in 14. Uh, in power, and the repeater goes into the comparator here, and when this is on, that will be 15 uh, in strength. So this will override the comparator and turn off the locked statement. And as this goes uh, through 
uh, if I press this now, the same thing will happen. This uh, will go to the repeater, and this signal over here, which is the output, will also uh, make sure that the other uh, comparator, or the other uh, output, I guess you could call it, will turn off. So that's the RS null latch with no torches, just um, the repeaters and the comparator. Uh, com Parator. Um, I used to say it wrong, and uh, I I'm used to saying uh, the other thing. Like come now, I don't remember that. That's brilliant. What ever. Uh, so yeah, that's basically all I've got this far. I hope you uh, like my creations, as said before, and uh, I hope you like this uh, retour of the. Uh, creations. Um, I hope you learned something about these uh, comparators. I certainly did when I created all of this. And uh, yeah, I hope you s to see... Uh, I hope to see you around. Uh, goodbye.